In this video, we'll talk about adding images to your Art Steps virtual exhibit. I've already built my plan here, and if you look over on the left hand side, you can see I have a series of images already in place. Art Steps carries images from all your projects over to all of the other projects. So you always have some images in place once you've built at least one exhibit. But let's talk about adding a new image. I'm gonna click on the Add Image button on the left side. And you get three choices of how to add an image. I'll start with the Flickr API asset. What this is, is it is a search tool that will search the Flickr photo sharing website for whatever image you type in. So it is a little bit like Google Image Search, although a much smaller set. Nonetheless, as you can look down here, I got 1,000, or sorry, 12,321 pictures of dogs. Um, next option is file, which is probably the most functional and the one you'll use the most. So this assumes you've gotten an image onto the hard drive of the computer that you're using and you can drag and drop or click to go get it. So I'm gonna grab an image right here. The only thing that is required is to type in a title, but for uh, most of your images, I will recommend that you also add a description because this serves as the label of your image. Um, Okay, so there's my description. You notice there's an interactive slider up above the description. If I turn that off, then the image isn't clickable and I won't get access to the description itself or audio, which I'll cover in a separate tutorial. So I've got my title, my description, I will click on save. And if you look over on the left hand menu, I now have the dolphin leaping at sunset. I will click on that image, and now it has become my cursor. This isn't a click and drag, it's just a click. And I'm gonna to go to that back wall, click and drop it. Um, before I describe the menu at the top, let me switch our view, and let's add a couple more images here. So I'm just click, not a click and drag, just a click to select. And now we can walk over, double click to walk over. We'll take a closer look at our images. So when you click on an individual image, a menu appears at the top. And I'm gonna focus on the right-hand menu first. Select a frame for your properties. So for your image, excuse me. So I can choose all different kinds of framing material and styles. So if you'd like to put a frame around an image, knock yourself out. If you decide you don't want a frame, just click the no parking remove, and that removes the frame itself. Um, looking at this set of uh, tools over here, we've got remove with a trash can that deletes the image from your gallery, but not from your account. Scale lets us change the size of the image by dragging these sliders. It's really nice how it keeps in a proportion as well. Notice that the image will actually disappear into the floor or the ceiling of your design and therefore it will uh, actually appear above the structure of your museum. So keep that in mind. That could be kind of an interesting feature to be honest. So let me scale that back to something that keeps it inside. Okay. Uh, rotate, pretty self-explanatory, would let you rotate the image by grabbing one of these three axes to rotate. Um, I don't think you're going to use it a whole lot, but it's there if you need to. I'm going to switch to a different image and go to move. So the move tool is these cones that you can drag and it will move it left, right, up, down, or if I grab this blue cone, it actually lets you pull it out 
from the wall and make it a completely free standing image. So if I switch our view and I go into our space, you can now see how this image is freestanding. It's like a separate panel from everything else. So that's how you can upload um, and insert an image into your ArtSteps virtual gallery.